Hello and welcome to another episode of PC Building Simulator. Hopefully you're having a wonderful day so far. Hopefully you are staying inside and social distancing as we are all supposed to be doing. Let's discuss something more exciting. However, let's get into our email. See what we have going on for today. This first one says, hi, I need some repairs. Can you diagnose what's wrong with it? The computer just reboots randomly. It's really annoying. Can you try and work out what's wrong? I was on PC Bay the other day and saw some awesome plastic purple black cables. I don't think I have those. I read that team group parts are really good. Okay. So let's go ahead. Let's actually look at these stats real quick. So his RAM might be dead. We'll have to check on that. Let's go ahead and accept it though. He wants some plastic purple black cables, which I don't think I have. Let's hop in here. Let's take a look. Plastic, oops, can't even spell purple. Plastic purple. Ribbon plastic duo purple. Ribbon plastic patterned purple black. Striped purple black purple. Holy cow, which one does he want? Plastic purple black cables. <laughs> I don't see any that say plastic purple black. Um, well, shoot. Let's just add those to the cart. Hopefully, hopefully they will make him a happy person. Let's go up here. I think I have some, let's see. Well, let's do this one. It says, you work with computers, right? Can you build a PC for me? I'd love it if I could finally play World of Tanks. You think you could do that all by 12 days? Sure we can. I'm a total AMD fanboy. I worry about used parts. So wants to play World of Tanks at a minimum spec. Budget of $2,750. We can probably build him something nicer than that, but we'll take a look at it here in just a minute. Let's go ahead and accept that one. And then let's do this one. It says, I hear you work with computers. Things aren't working fast enough. For performance, does 15,835 sound like a fair benchmark target? You've got to get it done by tomorrow. I want to go all out with two graphics cards. It's not as quick as it used to be. I'm a total gigabyte fanboy. So a budget of $3,500 to get a 3D Mark score. 15835 And he wants it by tomorrow. Let's go ahead and accept that one. So I'm going to go ahead and step away, get some parts put in the cart for this upgrade, and I will be right back. All right, so for this upgrade, we're going to add seven sticks of a Team Group T-Force Nighthawk Red LED. It was 8 gig, 3200 megahertz, because they have a Threadripper, so they can definitely have a good bit of RAM. We're also going to put in a two gigabyte Aorus RTX 2080 Ti Extreme Editions. And I also went ahead and added this team group uh, RAM for possibly this repair. Who knows? Who knows if that's actually what's wrong with it, but we'll find out. I went ahead and added it, though, just in case. As for this build, they want to play World of Tanks. Let's pull up Will It Run. Go down here to World of Tanks. Minimum spec is a Ryzen 3 1300X and a GTX 960. For their budget, I'm sure we can even beat the recommended spec. So I'm going to step away, get some parts put in the cart for this World of Tanks build, and I will be right back. So for the World of Tanks build, we're going to go with a Gigabyte X570 Aorus Elite motherboard, a Ryzen 7 3800X, a Kraken Z73, two sticks of Gigabyte Aorus RAM, 8 gig, 3200 megahertz, a Radeon RX 5700 XT, a one terabyte gigabyte M.2 drive, a three terabyte Seabay Seagate Barracuda, 850 watt power supply. We're gonna put that in the Corsair Carbide Series Air 740 case. Make sure we've got all of this for next day delivery. We'll buy it now. Let's close this stuff out of our way. Let's go end our day. We can get in our parts, our repair, our upgrade. All the good stuff. 
We'll let this thing ding at us. And now we can go to work. All right. Let's grab this diagnose one. We will put it over here. That's a monster case. Let's grab our upgrade. Put it here. And we'll grab this case for our World of Tanks build. Put that there. As well as the post-it note. Let's take a look at this thing first, though. See if we can figure out what is going on with it. I mean, it doesn't power on at all. That's definitely not RAM. I probably bought a stick of RAM I don't need. Of course. Why isn't this... Is auto cabling turned off? Is there some sort of update? No, it still doesn't power on. No juice. Okay. Let's see. It's this power supply. Get everything disconnected. Open this side of the case. Get everything disconnected. How does this thing come out? Gotta disassemble the entire case just to check the power supply. Take a look here. The Corsair 850 watt power supply is broken. Do I have anything? The Corsair 750. We'll just go buy another a Corsair 850. What was it? Was it the X? Forgot to even look. RM850X. Let's go grab one. RM850X. There we go. Let's have that delivered now. Let's grab this thing. Let's get it installed and see if it gets this computer working. What am I looking for? Power supplies. Sell off that broken one. Get the new one installed. He wanted those purple... purple-black... Little black cables. So let's put those in. We can see if this thing will power on for us. This power supply looks like it's just hovering in midair. Hmm. Still nothing. Oh. How if I wired up the power, the power button? No RAM. Now, now we get to replace the RAM. So, let's see here. Let's get this stick of RAM out of here. It's definitely broken. So let's see. It was 16 gig, 300, 300, 3000 megahertz. It's here somewhere. There we go get that installed. Let's see if this works now. There we go. Let's get some of this case put back together. Got the PSU cradle. Let's power this thing down. And get that PSU cradle installed. Let's power it back up. Did we need to run any kind of... Really annoying, blah, blah, blah. Nope. No virus scan needed for this one. Let's get this case closed up. Let's go put this thing out here in the hallway. We can get started on this upgrade.
Got a whole bunch of RAM. Hopefully that's going to fit in here. So let's get this thing ready for RAM. Got seven sticks to add to it. So let's do that first. Let's do fits this PC. Okay, yep, seven. And we'll get the other three in. There we go. Now they got some RAM. I'll have to figure out where these graphics cards are going to sit. Let's go ahead and grab those, though. We've got the 2080 Ti. Gigabyte, two of them. There we go. We'll get those installed. We will cable this up. I think they were just using the loose black cables here. Let's go ahead and grab a USB drive and get that installed because we're going to have to put 3D Mark on here anyway. So let's power this thing on. Let's hop into the BIOS real quick. Just see. Let's turn XMP on. Is that the only drive they have? Oh my. Let this thing reboot. What? Why? What? They really not even have anything installed. I'm, that's confusing. Let's hop back in the BIOS. I feel like <laughs> I feel like there's no way that someone was using this computer without even having an operating system installed on it. But it won't let me select anything other than Seag Seagate Barracuda. So. All right. <laughs> Let's go ahead. Let's get 3D Mark installed on here. I'm gonna have to go look at that email. I could have sworn that they had. Let's go look at it now. I could have sworn they had some sort of SSD installed. Let's see, upgrade. Of course, it's probably not gonna show me now. Lots of RAM. Interesting. It's not as quick as it used to be. Usually that means you have to run a virus scan or something, but... I don't know how you'd run a virus scan on something that didn't even have an operating system installed. So, anywho, I'm going to get a 3D Mark running. As soon as I have a score, I will come right back. Well, there you have it, 18,586. We needed 15,835. So definitely beat that score. Let's get this case put back together. Get the side panels on here. There we go. Let's get this thing out in the hall. We can start on our World of Tanks build. Get this case pulled apart. We're putting an AIO water cooler in here, so let's get these fans out of the way. Go ahead and get our motherboard installed. We've got the Gigabyte X570 Aorus Elite with Wi Fi. I don't really care to use Wi-Fi myself because it's not very stable. But hey, you know, you can't get a cable, Ethernet cable, to where your computer is. Wi-Fi, I guess, is the next best thing. 
Let's go ahead and get our 3800X installed in this motherboard, as well as our two sticks of gigabyte RAM. Let's sell off this broken thing. Two sticks of gigabyte RAM. There we go. Let's get some thermal paste on here. We can go ahead and get that cooler installed, the Kraken Z73. It's the one that has the temperature display. Pretty cool. Kind of makes me want one for my real life PC. Looks really, really nice. Okay. Got that on. Let's go ahead to grab our storage. Oh, that's you. I was like, why do I have two of the same thing? This one's new. So we're going to install the new one on here. Let's also go ahead get the hard drive installed. Got the three terabyte Seagate Barracuda. And while we're on this side, let's go ahead and install the gigabyte power supply. 850 watts should be plenty. All right, let's grab the graphics card. Got the Radeon RX 5700 XT. We'll get that installed. I think we're about ready to cable this thing up. So let's see, we've got some red in there. What do we have? Do we have any cool cables that have some red? We've got this red, blue, black. How would that look? Looks more like red, white, and blue, but hey, you know. We'll have to see once we power it on. The colors, if we can make the colors look nice. Get this front panel put back on, though. I'm pretty sure we need to cable up our power button. All right. Let's grab a USB drive. We can get this thing powered on. We'll hop into the BIOS. We'll turn on our XMP because why not? Make sure we're booting from the correct drive. We'll let that operating system go ahead and install. There we go. Nice and fast. Our colors are all over the place. Let's get the lighting app installed here. See if we can't make this thing look a little bit presentable. Let's see. It's claiming that that's red. That looks red. That looks pink. Maybe we'll try to make it blue. See if we can't make this stuff blue to kind of go along. There we go. That pulls our color scheme together a little bit better. Let's go ahead, get this thing, this thing, this case completely put back together. We'll take a look at this thing, see if we like it. Not too shabby all right let's get it out in the hall we can collect some money let's go ahead and collect this upgrade take that like this build take that as well let's see what we get four stars hmm okay Got some more emails, got some PC Bay deals. Let's go over to PC Bay. Let's check on the PCs we're selling. Got three days remaining. We're at 550, 1380, and 2026. If you didn't see the video where we built these PCs to sell here on PC Bay, I will put a link up in the upper right hand corner. For everyone else, I'm going to end the video here. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified 
as soon as a video goes live. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe, wash your hands, and I will see you in the next episode.